to the park. Oh, what happened? So hi guys, hi. and welcome to the channel. Hey there, welcome back to Lima Bean Living. If you guys are new here, my name is Emily. The person you saw at the beginning is my daughter, Aubrey. She totally stole my camera when I was taking care of my son, Jack. In today's video, we are tackling the almost the entire house. I didn't get a chance to really focus on the bathrooms this day, but our you know the rest of the house was in major need of tidying and cleaning up. We have just made a mess the night before, and honestly, I haven't been sleeping that well with Jack, so, you know, I just kind of gave myself some grace and waited until the next day to really tackle it. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video and get some motivation to tackle some of the tasks around your house. So I recently vacuumed this carpet, but I really wanted like the vacuum lines because we were going to have some guests over. So I didn't really move our cushion out of the way. If I knew that our carpet was dirty, I definitely would have moved that out of the way. Um, in this clip, you guys can see like my computer is just going crazy. And that's because I have some headphones in my ears and I'm like listening to a show as I clean. This kind of keeps me sane as, you know, being a stay-at-home mom who doesn't always have adult interaction. It's really nice to like just listen to other adult voices as I'm cleaning and, you know, the volume is still low enough for me to hear Aubrey and tend to my children and still take care of them, you know, in every way that they need. But it is kind of a nice little mental distraction as I do the mundane chores throughout the house. And, you know, for me dealing with depression and um, just being exhausted, it keeps me awake. So if you need to do something like that to, you know, conquer a lot of your chores in your house or just stay sane and not just hear kid whines and cries all day, I highly recommend getting a good pair of little, like, you know, AirPods or whatever, and listening to a show or a podcast or a book or, you know, whatever you enjoy. It, it really is helping me a lot. And then, of course, you know, as I'm trying to keep our place clean, Aubrey decided to have a little tea party set up here. So I had to leave that here as long as, you know, possible, as long as she was interested in having a tea party. And we ended up having a little snack. So here, um, Jack was kind of waking up. I wanted to go in there and kind of tidy while he was still asleep, but he woke up. You don't see him in this clip, but this entire time, well, maybe you see his feet on the left-hand side. He's sitting in his high chair with some like little toys and watching me work. A lot of the times when he is awake, I'm just so exhausted and, you know, like I'm just like on the floor playing with him and I don't really have the energy to do all that I'm doing. Uh, in this room, I'm bringing all of our baby clothes in and really removing every single toy and moving it to the toy room or playroom so that this room can just be for books and bed. 
So like I said, normally I try to get the stuff done when Jack is sleeping, but he was awake and, you know, he could still see me. He was entertained and it actually really worked out for us. But, uh, you know, on a normal day when I'm exhausted from horrible sleep the night before, uh, when he's awake, I'm usually just playing with him or playing with Aubrey and watching him at the same time. Right here you can see I actually used some spring rods to create some lower like hanging storage for Aubrey's dresses and I think she really likes them. She likes to go in and kind of choose her clothes so it was a really great way in my opinion to utilize that space in her closet. And then we get to see Jack. He's uh, practicing sitting up in this video. This was like a, a big day for us because in some of these clips it's the longest that he's sat up so pretty big moments for a little Jackie boy. And you'll get to see some more cute little moments at the end of this video if you want to check in on Jack and see how he's doing. Every little thing you do, every time you hold me, take me higher. So by this time, I think Jack was asleep, and so I decided to kind of just vacuum and clean the mirrors in our playroom. But Aubrey, I had to show you guys this. Aubrey made me this. It is a wallet. She took some cardboard and like taped it up, folded it, and even put some coins in there, and then even taped on like a little piece of sea glass for decoration. I just thought it was really creative and, you know, obviously... Um, it can't really be used because it's all taped together, but I just thought it was really cute. And I really like to encourage her creative juices, even if it is wasting a bunch of office supplies. But like I said, in this room, we're just kind of cleaning up. Um, I'm going to be getting to all of these toys eventually and doing an organizing video. I really want to do like a seasonal rotation of the toys in those boxes. Right now, it's just like random toys thrown everywhere. Pieces of sets are separated. So we got a lot to get to, but you know, that will be done shortly, but at least that room is kind of somewhat tidy. And then we're moving on to changing the sheets in our master bedroom because they were, um, they were, it was time. It was time to change the sheets. Several times it hurts to admit that we're no different. I find it hard to commit, but you don't. And we also, since we recently moved um, Jack's crib to Aubrey's room, we have like more space now in this part in our bedroom. So I wanted just to kind of clear out all of the baby stuff. And we, um, I didn't film this, but like in the day that followed or whatever, I also moved a lot of the baby stuff that was in our master bathroom to the other bathroom. So we're kind of, you know, unbabying our master bedroom and really moving all of the kids stuff to the other side of the house and you know it feels like a good change I think we're gonna establish an even better routine now that bedtimes are moving up and 
you know, hopefully we'll start sleeping through the night. I could use some prayers on that. But it was nice to like just vacuum this area and not have a big changing table in the way or a crib or anything like that. So moving on, we are going to tackle my master shower. I'd like to thank Hi Say for sponsoring this portion of today's video. They sent us this awesome rust-proof stainless steel shower caddy, which we will be using to make the master shower a bit more functional. The evening before, I actually opened up the package that it shipped in and assembled the caddy. The pieces came nicely packed and they were accompanied by two little tools to help with the simple assembly. I think it is funny that on the box it says no assembly, but I had to assemble the product. But I think what was meant by that was that you don't need any additional tools and there is absolutely no drilling needed when mounting the product in your shower. The caddy comes with some 3M sticker zip ties that secure the bottom portion of it to the shower walls to keep it from swinging. And I especially like how there are plenty of hooks on the caddy to hold loofahs, exfoliators, um, you know, and other shower necessities. There is also plenty of storage space in each of the three baskets, enough to hold all of your shower items. Our master shower was definitely in need of some organization. All of our cleansing products just kind of sat on the little bench in the shower, making the bench unusable and causing some like mildewy type marks just by, you know, having everything sit there and be wet. So now our little bench has some more free space and all of our products are nicely displayed and we can, it's like eye level or a little bit above for us because our um, like faucet or whatever it's called, the shower head is like really high in our bathroom, but everything is like easily visible and we, you know, we know what we're looking at. It's not like hidden behind some other product on our bench. It feels so much better to know that everything has its place and that our bench probably won't get like as gross anymore. So again, I'd like to thank Hi Safe for sponsoring this portion of today's video and helping me to organize my shower better. If this seems like a product that you guys would like or are interested in, I will make sure to put the link down below in the description box so that you guys can check it out for yourself. So just like in other parts of my video, I'm pretty sure I was doing this shower organization when Jack was taking one of his naps, and I'm pretty sure I was able to get dinner started or at least complete most of making this little homemade chicken noodle soup while he was sleeping as well, which is obviously really helpful because when he's awake, it, you know, he takes more attention. But I was able to make this dinner as requested by Juan. Um, on the same day. So I was really proud of myself for being able to do so much <laughs> in one day. I do want you guys to know that I would not be able to take care of like all of this stuff on back-to-back -back days. This actually really wiped me out, especially for not, you know, getting full night sleeps right now. Um, and so if you are a mom watching my video, take this as motivation, but know that, you know, I was surprised at how much I got done today and I was exhausted and probably didn't get nearly as much done on the following days. Um, so just kind of keep that in mind if you're feeling energetic, you know, and you, and you can tackle as much as I did or more, that's awesome. But don't, you know, beat yourself up if you can only get to one task when you're taking care of your kids because they are the most important part of your day and everything else can wait if your kids are in need of, you know, mommy time. So just kind of keep that in mind. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it motivates you. 
I will catch you guys in the next one. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Okay, he's on his own. He's on his own. Good job, Baba! Yay! But he did do it. Yeah. Good job, Baba. <laughs>